Hello YouTube. After yesterday's uh, test run video, I don't know how I can top that. But uh, in that video, we identified two different faults that we wanted to address. One is that the uh, brake pedal is too hard. Uh, the master cylinder needs to be changed. We need to put a smaller bore in it. That's uh, going to be in another video. This, the other problem that we had was the gas pedal is too close to the brake pedal. It's too easy to put your foot on both the brake and the gas at the same time. So we need to move the gas pedal over about an inch and a half. This is the arrangement now and at the time this is what my wife wanted for spacing but we're going to move this over about an inch and a half and we're going to be very careful to make sure that this back plate is perpendicular to the driver. The first step to removing the gas pedal so we can move it over is to remove the inner cable for the throttle cable so that we can take the pedal off. There's a little clip here that holds the pin in that holds the clevis in that uh, holds the inner cable in and once we remove that we can take the inner cable out. There's the pin, there's the lock, and there's the cable. Out comes the pedal. What we have to do is cut some of this uh, old foundation out for the old uh, gas pedal. I'm going to leave the side here because I can use that to tack to to put the new one in, but I'm going to cut the front off. So here we go. Now I can't get in here with this tool, so I'm going to have to use the air cutoff wheel to get in there. And now we have a place to put our new uh, base. What we're doing here is making a template. I've already made three of these and I think I've got it pretty much down to what we want to do but it's certainly cheaper to make it out of paper first I think I want the top fold to be a little further out so we'll mark where we want the fold and from the fold this was a perfect measurement so let's mark that this is where we're going to cut it. This is where we're going to fold it. Now we'll cut it out. We'll go to the brake and put a 90 degree bend in our cardboard. Let's see how our template fits. And I like it except for this corner right here. This is not perfect, straight up and down. I have to trim a little bit off here in order for it to sit square up against that uh, dog house. Let's take that much off. Let's see how our last adjustment held up. If I put a level on there, we're nice and level. I like it. This is the center line of our old bolt holes.
Now we want to be an inch and a half to the right of that. So that's right here. So if we make this the center line of our mounting bolt holes, that'll move the pedal over an inch and a half. I have a nice scrap piece of 18 gauge metal that we'll uh, make a bracket of. And the first thing we'll do is we'll wipe it down with some brake clean because it is dirty. We'll take our pattern and lay it out. This corner is nice and square so we'll only have to cut two edges and that's okay with me. Now we have to go cut that out. We'll cut out our piece on the bandsaw and we'll cut the line because we drew the line on the outside of the pattern. Now we'll go clean up the edges. Our piece of metal matches our pattern exactly down to the taper that we put in it to fit the doghouse. And now we've got to put the fold in it. So what we're going to do is just mark where it's got to go. And that's right here. And we want a 90 degree bend on that. And then what we need is a 90 degree bend and we'll carefully clamp it right on the line and give ourselves a 90 degree bend. Let's see how this looks. Well, that looks pretty good. That's level, so you know, I got a nice tight joint. I think that's good. Okay, we want to be an inch and a half outside of where we were before. So I'll put a little scratch mark. That was the center line for the old bracket, and what we want to do is move it over an inch and a half, which is right here. So we'll scribe a line. And that's the center line for our bolts. The bracket for the gas pedal wants to be centered on that line. So let's visually center it and see how far off we are. That's three quarters of an inch. That's a little less than three quarters of an inch. That's a little more than a half inch. And that's a little more than a half inch. So we're good. Now what we need to do is put a punch mark on our center line in the center of the hole. And that's the first one. And we're going to have to drill some holes for those bolts to go through. We'll obviously need something bigger than that, so we'll drill it up to probably a 5 16 inch bolt. Now we're going to drill a 21 64 inch hole, so our 5 16 inch bolt will pass through the hole. And we'll put a little bevel on our edge. That just finishes off the hole real nice.
we'll check one more time. We got a good spot. It's not exactly level, but it's pretty darn good. So we're going to go with it. We're just going to burn it in. Hey guys and dolls, I got to make a mistake, at least one mistake in every video. And in this video, I just welded the vice grip to our bracket. The only way to get it off is to cut it off. Well, we're going to attempt to uh, remove these vice grips and I'll tell you, the only way I'm going to get that off is to cut it off. There we go. We got a little cut in the metal where we remove the vice grip and we'll just weld that up. Now that it's welded in, let's bolt the pedal up and we can work on finishing this installation. Now that we have the pedal mounted in its new location, we can see that at the top here where the cable came out is no longer right in back of our top lever there. So we have to move this uh, cable outlet over so that it is directly in back of the pedal. Uh, the complication to that is it's not a flat surface and the cable wants to come straight through. So we're going to have to make some beveled I don't know, shims so that the cable comes straight through. The next thing we have to do is we have to drill a new hole in our firewall. And it has to be directly in back of where the lever is. So what I'm going to do is outline the, the lever. And that way I can punch it. I'll take the pedal off. We'll take the punch and put it in the center of our outline and down just a little bit because the hole in the top of the lever is down just a little bit. Now we'll take the cable end out of the old hole. We'll drill a 5 sixteenths inch hole for our throttle cable end. And we'll see if our cable end will go through that hole. Yeah, looks good. This throttle cable was meant to go into a flat firewall. So that when you put the jam nut on, the firewall would be sandwiched between the set nut and the jam nut. My firewall is at an angle, so I can't do that. Otherwise, the cable will come through at an angle and it'll bind on the edge. So what I've done is taken a piece of pipe and cut an angle in it that corresponds with the angle of the firewall. And I'll put that on the cable and then I have a second one that corresponds with the first one. So now if my wall is angled like that, if you can see the crack, I can put this on my firewall and the cable will come out of the firewall straight. With our custom shims in place, we'll tighten it down. You can let go. 
with the outer casing of our throttle cable bolted in place and coming directly out of the firewall, we can slide the inner cable into the outer cable and hope that we don't fray the cable on the end. And there we go. And slide the sleeve in place. We thread the inner cable into the bracket on the side of the carburetor and it was inset about an inch and I'll put it in the same place to start with. We may have to adjust this. So I'm not going to get that too tight. We'll come back. Next, we'll bolt the pedal back in place. Our lever lines up beautifully with the clevis. And now we got to put the pin in the clip in. Here comes the pin. And now to get this little clip on. Here we go. We got it. That seems good. I don't want to pump it too much. I'll fill the motor with the fuel. But I think that's good. With a carburetor empty of gas, we can pump this all we want. It has a real nice feel through the whole travel. Returns real nice. It doesn't bind. We have full travel on the carburetor. And the loud pedal works as it should when everything is turned on. I think we accomplished what we set out to do. We have nice separation between the throttle pedal and the brake pedal. If you enjoyed this video, there will be more.